Today I want to talk to you about a water catchment system for your garden. When I first moved into my house, I was catching almost five gallons of water a night from the AC unit, dripping out of the pipe. It was making a big mess on the side of the house. There was termite damage in the bathroom, the foundation was wet, filling buckets. I needed to come up with a better plan, maybe a rain barrel, so I built a stand. Bought a rain barrel, put some spigots in it, put it on my new stand, hooked up all the pipes. This drum filled up in about two weeks. I couldn't keep up with it. Time for some new barrels. I got these online, Craigslist. So I built an even bigger stand. This thing's a beast. It should hold some weight. This was my first setup. These green hoses, they didn't work out too well. The shutoff valves got corroded and they snapped off when I would try to use them. So I took everything apart, bought all this junk at Home Depot, pipes, I got some shutoff valves, some flex pipe, just in case the earthquake so things can move around a little bit. This was the first valve that I put together. This was gonna be on the end drum. Here's the whole setup, dry fit, ready to go. I like to mark it so I know where I'm going. This way everything doesn't come out crooked. Christie's blue glue. So you glue everything together. Make sure you put glue on the inside and outside of the piece. I learned this the hard way after putting some pipes together and they leaked and then I couldn't get them apart. Grab some Teflon tape, wrap it around there a few times. I'm putting it in here first because this will help me feed it through the hole. And tighten it, should be enough. Throw it through the back, put the ring on, and there's the whole assembly. Time to look for leaks. Get some water. You only have to fill it up to the height of the bunk. After 24 hours, no leaks. Time to install them. Then I realized I made a big mistake. I put an elbow on the end of the first can. This wasn't going to work out. So I had to make a new T-junction. This way I could have another valve on the end, so I could add a spigot later on. This system will work out a whole lot better. You can see the other elbow down on the bottom there underneath. You can see where the mistake was made. Once I had it filled up, I did find some leaks, even though I used the blue glue. So I got some plastic epoxy. This will just melt right into the plastic. It doesn't look so nice, but it can be sanded and painted when you're done. Obviously I couldn't take it apart because I already used the blue glue. The epoxy would have to do. I also picked up some Ultra Clear. This stuff you can put on a wet surface if you find any small leaks. I'll use the Ultra Clear in my final assembly. This way I can peel off the glue if I ever need to take the whole assembly off the barrels. I put an overflow in each can. I added an inline filter. Don't really need to. The filter just helps make the water a little better for the plants. And some flex hose for the earthquakes. My goal is to use this transfer pump to get the water out back. Harbor Freight, 70 bucks. Since the pump needed to be close to the ground, I came up with this contraption, quick release hoses. This pump needed to be primed every time before you use it. It also needed to be dumped out when you're done, so a permanent fixture wasn't a good idea. This might look kind of funny, but it works out perfectly. When I'm done using the pump, pop the hoses off with the quick release, and then I can turn over the pump and empty it out. Now with the pump at ground level, this will work a whole lot better. As you can see, I had to build some custom hoses. The P-trap parts helped raise up the pipes just high enough so the hoses wouldn't get kinked. I ran the rest of the pipe down the side of the house. I dug a ditch, fed the pipe under the fence, and ran it down to a spigot closer to the garden. All right, let's hook it up and go for a ride. The truth is, I really just wanted to try to do this to see if it would work. There's always gonna be some little leaks and there's a few other things that I need to work out. But in the end, it worked out great. Sure, there's a few leaks, there's a few things that need fixing, but overall, I'm happy with the results. And I'm not gonna use this every day. It'll only get used in the summer when the tanks fill up and I have no place to put the water. And here it is, working away. As you can see here, the pump is dripping out some water where the primer is. I'm not sure why. I tightened it down as hard as I could. I certainly don't wanna break it. And there's the whole setup, ready to catch all that water. Thanks for watching.